Hello, this is Chertsey Lover. This is day 30, last day of the challenge. Gonna have a 15 day break and then come back for another 30 days. But today I'm gonna start with a different type of video. This might be one of the types of videos I do when I come back. But I'm gonna be telling you about my day. My little travel day. So, let's just get straight on with it. No intro, just get on with it. So, we're in Egham. I wake up around like 5am, leave my house about 6 so yeah, also I find just the title then, Egham to Wembley to Bracknell. Wembley is in northwest London, Egham is in Surrey, and Bracknell is in, I'm not even going to show it, Bracknell's in Berkshire, it's kind of near Reading, not really. So, I get up, I walk, there's this like little alleyway down here, it doesn't even show, it does show it, here. Neil, walk here, up here. All the way here, I get to Staines in about half an hour. Cross the bridge and here, bus station. At about 6.50, I get the 2.90. Is this the right place? No, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I got it wrong, it's here. They're showing it all as one bus stop, but there's like eight, nine. So I get the 2.90, we get to Twickenham. Let's just show that. So new, we go through, we go through Ashford, I think it was this way, no it's not. Somewhere this way, new gets the sun new. It goes to Hampton somewhere, uh, new and then Twickenham. No, that's Teddington. Twickenham, and then I get the two six seven that goes. I get off around Kew Bridge. So where's Brentford? Help! I didn't plan this. I'm sorry. It goes here, new and then Kew Bridge. Somewhere here, yes, is this Key Bridge? It's Key Bridge, yeah, so new, somewhere like here. Balls, if I know. Somewhere, one, one of, well, somewhere around one of these. And then I get the 440, all the way to Wembley. Will I know where to go? Probably not, somewhere towards Acton. See so yeah, up here, up here, and then keeps going, keeps going. Uh, let's just zoom out, where's Wembley? Up here! Wow, well, no way. So I go to Wembley, I have like this group interview for like just some, some extra like part of time work, hospitality shifts. They just give like a 30 second, 30 minute presentation and then they're just like, oh, if you're successful, you'll find out. But we they didn't even really, they asked like two questions. What do you do and how long does it take to get here? But it was more just a presentation. So I knew like, it's just hospitality. They do numbers. They'd rather just like take people on and if they do a crap job, fire them because they need they need the numbers they don't want to be restrictive anyway so i end up wandering around so it finishes around 11 end up wandering around for like an hour i don't know how but somewhere there's like some some industrial estate nearby that i just got lost in i don't know it's what the stadium's here i don't know maybe it was here as if i know all i know is eventually it just I found my way back and I was back here. I get onto this road and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take one of two buses, whichever comes first. I think it was one that goes, oh, I don't know, one that goes to Greenford maybe, or one that just goes back. But the 440 came back. So I start going back. Where's Acton? So can I find it? There was an Asda somewhere around here. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just search it. As the Acton, please don't have multiple act as does. What is this? It's got to be this one. Oh my gosh! See, this is actually difficult. I am recording, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. What? This, this can't be the Park Royal one because I walked for like an hour to get to Park Royal. Since when is it two Asdas anywhere? I don't know because I went there was like the, the hospital. Where's the hospital? Acton Hospital. Come on. Central Middlesex maybe. And then what we go in back out. 
Okay, maybe it was part foil. That's weird. Did I just did I walk in a circle? Where, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Come on, don't ruin my video. Where is it? Where's the part foil? Oh, it might be. It might be. It might be. It might be that one. That's really, really weird. Because if I remember correctly, I go to this Asda. And then I walked. I walked like onto this road. But I walked. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I see it now. So, alright, alright. So, Wembley. Let's go to this one. Let's go back to this one. So, Wembley here to Park Royal Asda wherever that is somewhere here then I walk down I think I did a little bit like up and then I was like uh, I start looking at maps and I go okay I'm not gonna plan it but also I'm not gonna go more central I'm gonna go back and I don't know I, I must have seen this wrong because this obviously looks like a bad idea to go this way I'm just going more north but whatever I will ended up walking up here I think I was just like I'd rather go out of London than in London this takes like an hour probably so I get to Park Royal um, I get on the bus round here and yeah on Hangar Grun wherever green probably and I take the 95 to Suvel to Suvel to Southall wherever you call it I think it's Southall actually so if I can work that one out I remember being on this road for ages for ages for ages Greenford, where's Greenford? Greenford's there. Come on, come on, come on. Well, I didn't go on the. Oh, that's not on the Nifi for it. Come on. All right, so he goes down here. He goes down here. We're getting there. So then I get off. Um. Probably here. I remember I ate like. Um. I tried going down. I didn't really like this part. I think is this this part was like the busy bit and I don't like where it's like really busy you just got a million of the exact same like takeaways I did still end up going to a takeaway so you know whatever look at me the hypocrite well I'll go to some like bus takeaway thing is it this one probably not it was like it was like some bus as a takeaway so I got from there um, and then I went into a library I realized I'd been accepted by the agency obviously where's the library libraries probably like all the way here oh, I just can't believe it where's the library come on what's next you're gonna tell me I chose the wrong place Savile library okay it was just a different way it was it was here it was up here I was so I go down here I was I, was, I try and take a picture of my passport but it just won't load with the data um, the website I'm meant to use and then I go, I go on my phone, I go, you know, I'm just going to check. Because I want to be in Blacknell by about 6.30. How long would it take? And then I realise, oh, you have to leave in like zero minutes if you want to get there before 6. Otherwise, you're going to get there for 7. I'm like, oh, crap. So I get all my crap. And also, look, this is like, every, everyone looks scared of me in this place. I don't get why. Like, whenever I go to, like, Feltham, these, like, this place is, like, Feltham's nice. This place is, like, actually looks struggling. These guys are always scared of me. I don't know why. Like I just go walk into a place. I actually feel like braver in these places. I walk into a place. Everyone looks at me as if I'm like Mr. Big Scary Man. But yeah, I'll get I'll get on the bus, go to Hounslow, 120 to Hounslow. New, 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 new. Come on, this one can't be hard. Hounslow is below Heathrow. Here. New, 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 new. I don't know, I don't think it was like here. Probably like somewhere here. No, it was Hounslow West. Where's Hounslow West? Okay, it was somewhere around here. I think, oh, I don't even know. We get, we got off somewhere in Hounslow. I get the 81 bus towards Slough, but I don't go all the way into Slough. Because it's so new, 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 new. This one I know, we took this road. Because I saw Heath, I saw the planes here. And then, and then, where is it? Before Langley. 
it's here, it's here, it's here somewhere here. It's like poil, poil. So right, so I went down here, somewhere around here. I get the 703 flight line. There is a two pound bus that goes all the way from Bracknell to Heathrow Terminal 5. It goes through Slough, through Windsor. Bro, whoever, whoever works in the council for Slough is like the most smartest genius ever. The amount of deals, and like they've got TFL here, they've got bus to Egham, they've got bus to Heathrow, they've got bus everywhere. They've got bus everywhere in Buckinghamshire. Slough. Whoever, whoever is like their fucking spokesperson for their council knows how to convince everyone of everything. Like, I don't know man. I kind of feel like Slough's another area that people say is a crap hole and I know like there's some rough people there and some people aren't living the best. But I kind of feel like Slough has a lot more than people think. Like, I honestly think I, 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 I'm just saying on the top of my head, I bet there's more opportunities in Slough than Windsor. Like, Windsor is just pride. You know, you're a rich kid who goes there. Like, if you're rich already and you live in Windsor, okay, fine, you might know people who live here. But if you're in Windsor and you're not rich, you don't have these contacts, then you probably just, there's probably more jobs in Slough. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just making this up. I haven't had a job in either of these places. Um, and yeah, it goes all the way down here. Passes Legoland as well. The whole point of these this bus from here to the Heathrow Terminal Five is for Legoland. The whole point of this bus that goes um was the other one. Yeah, the other one is Legoland all the way to London Victoria, passing Windsor, passing Slough. So yeah, I get to Bracknell, do the thing I was doing there, and then I took the train back. I'd had enough. Okay, I could have got, I could have, because the reason I did this all by bus, TFL maxed out at five fifty. So I paid £7.50 for all that travel. I could have got on that. So I had to pay £6 for a train back to Egham. I could have like paid another £2. Gone to Slough. Um, there is a £2 bus you can get from Slough to Egham. There's the one that goes to Heathrow Terminal 5. It goes all the way around. However, that doesn't go that late. It, it ends at like 6 or 7. And then to add more, like make it even worse. So okay, fine. Let's forget that. Okay, I don't want to save two pounds. I want to save four pounds instead. So I'm going to go all the way back to Slough, and then I'm going to get the bus to Hounslow. I don't know if it goes to Heathrow or whatever. Because oh yeah, because I could I could get the 703 all the way to Heathrow as well. Go to Kingston or go to Hounslow, and then get to Staines, and then walk the half an hour to 40 minutes back. And that would make it two hours more. I'd had enough. So oh, I paid seven pounds fifty plus six, eleven pounds fifty. That's not right. Thirteen pounds fifty for all that travel for today. So look at me. Well done. Thirteen pounds fifty. Egham to Wembley to Bracknell and back. Goodbye. See you in fifteen days.